Today, I'm going to demonstrate how to tie a dry dropper rig. Now this dry dropper rig is one of the best rigs because you are going to enable yourself to fish different depths at the same time of the water column. The first component is going to be a big dry fly, whether it's a chubby Chernobyl or a stimulator, or in my case, I've got here a hopper, which is short for grasshopper. This guy is going to be on top and remain on top as the stabilizer of the rig. The second fly is going to be an emerger, and that's going to float lower in the water column. So it's supposed to act like this. The stimulator or the dry fly is supposed to attract their attention. However, before they get there, the fish are going to see the emerger. So it's really up to them which one they want to take. So what we start with is a 24 inch long piece of tippet. Now, if you're fishing, let's say, a 4X leader, a lot of times uh, the leader is going to attach to your stimulator. And theory is, is that you take one weaker X tippet to attach your nymph just in case of it getting caught on some debris below the surface. Therefore, if you can't get it loose, then the lesser or weaker tippet on the nymph or emerger will break off and you'll only lose one fly as opposed to two. So what we'll do is we'll attach this tippet here to the loop or the bend of the stimulator or the dry fly. How do we produce that? Well, uh, I go ahead and I have a preference of a golf tee. It's not too large, not too small. And I produce a loop that is very similar to a clinch knot. So I go ahead and do one, two, three, four, five wraps. Now let's do six. Maybe we'll catch a real big one. Then I go ahead and I slip it through the loop very close to the T. And I grab that end and I put it back in this loop here that I just created by doing the previous action. So basically you're doing a improved clinch knot, just not closing it initially. Now, the beauty of these is to save time, I tie a whole bunch of these. Therefore, if I run into trouble, I don't spend my time tying rigs and knots. I'm actually improving the number of hours and minutes that I have on water. So we go ahead, now that we've closed We'll let it, and then we'll pull it just tight enough so that we can get it off the tee. Now you can use a pencil, a uh, stick, anything you want, but I find the tee works best for me. So now you've got this new slight loop. And so what you'll do then is you'll go ahead, put it on the hook, of the dry and then you'll pull it tight and then it's cinch right there and you'll cut off the excess just like we did on other rigs and so we'll go ahead and attach the the emerger with a improved clinch knot like that now stay tuned because 
in a few videos from now, I will have a tutorial on the improved clinch, clinch, and triple surgeon knots. And those are the knots that you'll need to produce a lot of the rigs, and you'll use those, uh, especially the improved clinch and clinch, uh, very much so in your fishing experiences. So now that I've tied the emerger, I'll go ahead and take off the excess. And there you go. I'm ready to go and uh, attach the leader to my dry. And this way I can fish two depths, one on the surface and one below the surface. Good luck and thanks for watching.